Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of Casey's Critiques. So it's kind of like, not really criticism, but more along the lines of like, what's new in books, movies, food, I don't know, just like all that stuff. It will be, each episode will be based off of one of those things. Like today's episode is food critiques and what I find in the new food world <laughs> and stuff. And I don't know if there will be more episodes and when they'll come out and stuff. Like if it'll be every week, every two weeks, every a couple of times a week. So yeah, just hold off on that for a while. Anyways, so this is the first episode. I'm pretty excited for this. And like I said before, this is a food episode. So today's topic is food. So let's start with my first thing. By the way, there's nothing on this piece of paper. I just hope it'll make me look sophisticated. First on my list, wink, wink. Oh, okay. So first thing on my list is this Icelandic water I got from Publix or any grocery market, supermarket, that's what I'm going to say. Um, you could probably find this. It's called Icelandic Glacial and it's water from a spring in Iceland. And like, let me tell you, I thought it was just going to be like regular water, you know, like Wow, it's just from another place on the earth. But it was actually like really sparkling and it was like magical and yeah, it had like flavor. It was good water. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was just like regular water. But I did find that the bottle makes a good drum, a good drumstick. But yeah, I thought it was cool. I don't even know why my mom let me get this. <laughs> Next thing. <laughs> the second thing on my food episode is something I tried new. Like, I, I tried something new. Even though it's, like, new all around because I'm not a cook. But I tried to make red velvet pancakes. And I'll leave a link to the recipe below. It They looked really good, but I and my mom did something wrong or something. Because <laughs> they, were, they weren't that, they weren't bad, but they weren't like as good as I thought. And I'm a red velvet like fanatic, even though I can't really have it because I'm allergic to food dye. So we left the, well, so we left the pancakes, the, the, food dye out of the pancakes so they were like brown because of the cocoa powder and so that probably took away from the taste and like the cream cheese glazing was an off color it was just a mess I think we're gonna try it sometime though like another time hopefully it'll be good also I don't know if any of you guys have like dairy queens around you guys but I do and we have blizzards it's basically like a thick milkshake with toppings blended all together and stuff. It's really good. So they have like blizzards of the month. Like this month it's like Oreo blizzard. And so I made a blizzard of the Casey, which is like my all-time favorite blizzard. So if you ever go to a Dairy Queen, try this because it's really good. Unless you're like allergic to it and don't try it. <laughs> but um, I get strawberry cheesequake with Oreos mixed in. It is so good. I actually had one of them tonight. And I'm going to work out after this. Yeah. The last thing is the limited edition food for this episode. Like, for each episode, I'll be picking a limited thing that is only going to be around for so long. And today, it is birthday cake Oreos. These things are like so good I would eat one but I would feel like fatty so but these things are really really good like yeah and it says they're limited edition though because they're 
the 100th year present to us. But, like, these things have the best things ever. Favorite Oreo, all times, no doubt. Now I'm like an Oreo person. If you couldn't tell with my blizzard, I just, I love Oreos. So, yep, that is all for today's episode of Casey's Critiques. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you in my vlog, which I'm about to do in like five minutes. So, yeah. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my Twitter, and I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah. Peace.